What's up, Guitar Geeks? Howdy, welcome to my studio. We're here today to look at the Wampler Dual Fusion Dual Overdrive pedal. It's uh, designed by the guys at Wampler for Tom Quayle, a fantastic guitar player from the UK. And uh, Tom was using the uh, Euphoria and Paisley Drive pedals from Wampler, and he'd sometimes stack them together for their individual unique overdrive characteristics and, uh, and end up with one really cool overdrive sound. Um, so uh, for Tom's signature pedal, they combined both of circuits into this pedal and uh, tweak them a little bit, so they're modified from their original versions towards Tom's liking. This pedal is very cool because of all the different stacking arrangements. So stacking is when you run one overdrive into another. Um, you can run uh, the Euphoria into the Paisley or the Paisley into the Euphoria. Either way with this pedal is very cool. And uh, uh, it's very simple using the switching arrangement that they've got in here to do that. And there's also a dual ins and outs um, for each uh, channel of the pedal. So say you want to run this with a pedal switcher like back in a rack or something and then you can switch it via a midi foot pedal and you want to switch in and out channel one and channel two independently. You can totally do that with this pedal. So really unique uh, switching arrangement. So you heard it on all the guitars on the song at the beginning of the video and uh, I'm gonna run over those sounds that I used in that song uh, for you now and show you some of the some of the uh, other sounds you can get out of this pedal. All right, uh, without further ado, the Wampler Dual Fusion Tom Coyle Signature Overdrive. Okay, so I'm plugged into a Sir Badger 30 amp, and uh, I used this Sir Modern guitar for all the uh, all the tracks in the song at the beginning of the video. And uh, this is the dry sound I got going with no uh, no pedal. Okay, it's uh, distorting just a little bit going right into the amp because it's a rather high output humbucker. If I play single coil, um, it's clean. Okay, and uh, starting with the the main rhythm tone that I used in the song, um, I used channel one on the dual fusion. And uh, it's got a very amp-like warm overdrive character, and uh, that's the way that Tom wanted it. Very, very amp-like and not pedal-like, if that makes sense. And uh, here's the sound that I was able to get. Okay, so it's, it's got a real warm, full character to it, and uh, it sounds, sounds great hitting the Badger 30. I've got the Badger around two right now on the uh, volume control, as I said, basically a clean sound. Turning off the pedal. Okay, but this particular sound sounds great to hit um, the amp uh, dirty and drive it into even more overdrive, so if I turn up the volume, I'm going to bring the, the, the gain control on the Badger up to about uh, five and a half or six. Here's the tone with no pedal. Okay, and turning on the pedal. Okay, so uh, channel one's really nice to boost a dirty amp, as well as great for a primary sort of overdrive sound into a clean amp. So this pedal sounds great with single coil pickups, and uh, one thing I noticed about it is it doesn't drop bass at all when you turn it on, which is really nice. A lot of overdrives will dump a bunch of bass when you turn them on, um, but this one stays nice and fat. Uh, so I've got the voicing switch on channel one in the down or fat position, and uh, I got the pedal set up for just a nice kind of mid gain drive. And here's the tone with uh, with no pedal. Turning on the pedal.
Okay, so channel two on the uh, dual fusion pedal um, is a decidedly darker, more modern sound. It's labeled the, uh, the modern channel, so that all makes sense. Um, it kind of reminds me of the high gain channel on uh, some modern 6L6 high gain heads that I've played through. Um, kind of the anti-martial sound, really more like a full, thick, fat distortion. Uh, so here's the sound with no pedal. Turning on channel two. Okay, there's a two position voicing switch labeled uh, normal and throaty. So that's the normal position. Here's the throaty. Okay, so that's got more like a mid mid range boost type thing in order to, to cut through. Um, back to the, uh, the normal position. Okay, so there you have it. That's side one, the uh, vintage channel, stacked into side two, the modern channel. That's the tone I used for the solo on the song at the beginning of the video. And uh, you end up with this great big singing, sustaining, searing lead tone. I love it. I love how on the high strings, on the plain strings, up high on the high notes, say above the 12th fret, it keeps the note sounding fat and really singing. Um, sometimes I find up there uh, things can get screechy with high gain, but not with this pedal. It, it just, each individual note is really fat and singing. <laughs> You know, it's like you can practically hear the feedback. And I'm playing at low volume here in the studio, and it sounds like the notes is taking off into feedback. <laughs> really fun to play through. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the pedal tracks you're playing great. So when you're picking on the neck pickup and stuff, it's right there with your attack. And um, there's so much gain and sustain that legato playing is really easy. You know, so it's just a fantastic pedal, and uh, I recommend it highly. The Dual Fusion from Wampler and Tom Quayle. See ya.